Hello and welcome back to the advanced course on Tableau. We've already discussed two out of the three types of the LOD calculations. We've talked about the include type and the exclude type, and we've only got the fixed type left. But before we proceed, I'd like to quickly recap on what we've learned uh, so far and also discuss again what we will learn today, just so that we're on the right track and that we don't get lost. All right, so we talked about the include uh, level of detail calculation. And what we did is we started at the level of granularity of state. Once again, it doesn't have to be geographical data or geographical dimensions. It can be any type of dimensions, but in our case, they are geographical. So we started at uh, the level of uh, state. So this was our visualization. And then we included a new dimension, which was city. We went down to a more granular level. What we did here is we aggregated our orders or actually aggregated our items in our orders for every city. So here we would uh, sum up all of the profit for this city, sum up all the profit for this city, for this city, for this city. So we'd find the profit for every single city. Then we would take those sums of profits that we've attributed to every city and we would bring that value back into our visualization and what we would do with it is we would take the average remember because you have once you're going to a more to a less granular level to a more aggregate level you have to aggregate the measures that you have created so we've created a measure which is the sum of profit for every city but now we're talking about things at the level of state so what we did is we took the average of the city profits for every single state so that's how we use the level of detail include in our visualization. Next, we used exclude. And what we did is we created a visualization at the city level. And we needed to get the, a value from a higher level of aggregation. So what we did is we used exclude and we excluded city. That brought us in the background. Again, our visualization didn't change. In the background, it brought us to the level of granularity of uh, a state. From here, we quickly grabbed the profit for every single state and brought it back to our city. And here in this arrow, we don't need to, we, do, we still need to aggregate, but we don't need to apply sum or average or anything because we're actually bringing a measure, uh, a measure from a higher level of aggregation. So from the state level, so that's where the ATTR function came into play. And that way we were able to bring uh, down the profit for the state to the level of the city. And then we use that in the calculation of what proportion or what portion of profit does each city contribute to its state. And we created that very powerful visualization that we have now. And finally, the uh, last type of level of detail calculation that we still have to discuss is the fixed type of calculation. And what it does here is we set our aggregation that we want to work with as an absolute. So think of uh, that little hack that we talked about uh, with uh, relative and absolute pathways on a hard drive. So the include and exclude, they're like relative pathways. You have, a, you have your starting point and you either exclude something, so you go to a higher level of aggregation or you include stuff, so you go to a lower level of, all level of aggregation. But the fixed level of detail calculation, what it does is it doesn't mind or doesn't take into account or consideration where you are starting, it doesn't take uh, that into consideration. So you could start at the country level, at the city level, you could start at the state level, it doesn't matter. What it'll do is it'll always take your absolute specified level of detail and from there it'll perform the calculation and it'll bring the same result to your uh, visualization regardless of where you're starting from. So that's our quick recap. And uh, the fixed level of detail calculation is what we're going to discuss today. So let's dive straight into it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually recreate the level of detail calculations uh, that we have created. But this time we're going to use fixed. Um, and the reason for that is because our visualization is pretty much ready. All we have to do is we just need to take this chart and this chart and overlay them. But we'll do that further down in this section. For now, we're just going to learn and practice how to use a fixed level of detail calculation. And we're just going to create the same chart, but with fixed and then this chart as well, hopefully, if we have enough time. So let's quickly duplicate this sheet and bring it over here. There we go. And so we're going to say 
LOD fixed, and then we'll say A. And here we're going to just duplicate LOD include. We're going to duplicate this, and now we're going to edit it. And here we'll say LOD. This is why I included this word, the keyword here, so that we can quickly change it. And here I'm going to say fixed. And instead of so let's just let's just think this through. What we're doing is we're we're applying it to this this chart only. And we're already in this chart when we open up, we have one, two dimensions. We don't have any other dimensions. So we're saying take these two dimensions and add the dimension city to these dimensions and then perform the calculations at that level. So basically it's saying take city, add it here, and then perform the calculations and then bring the result back here. So let's just quickly bring city again in here. So once city is added, right? How many dimensions do we have? We have country, state, city, we have three dimensions. So those are exactly the three dimensions that we need to specify here. So we'll, that's what we're going to say. We're going to say country, and then we're going to say state, and we're going to say city. And we're going to click OK. So let's just take this out from here. And uh, if we'll already fix, and instead of include, this time we're going to say fixed, right? So because previously we already had country and state, we only needed to add city. But now, because we're saying fixed, we don't have a relative pathway. We're, we have to specify the absolute pathway in, uh, in those uh, terms that we discussed. But in Tableau terms, we just have to specify all of the dimensions that we want in our aggregation that's going to happen in this aggregation that's going to happen. We want to specify at which level of dimensions it should happen. There we go, LOD fixed, click OK. LOD fixed, and now I'm just going to replace it here. Of course, we need an aggregation. We're going to say measure average and just replace it here. Just hold down control. So there's our new result. Let's compare it to our old result. As you can see, same exact result. And moreover, now if something changes with our visualization, the result won't change. So the this calculation will still be performed. So if I, for instance, take state out, even though we're seeing uh, 307.8 uh, here, that is the average, this, this calculation is still being performed. So if I click LOD fixed, right, edit, the calculation, this is the average that is applied to this calculation. So the sum of profit is still calculated at the city level and then the average is applied. And you can make sure, confirm that that is true by just going to the second chart. And if I remove state here, you'll see that the average here is 35.42. 35.42, probably what I'll do is, I'll just make this label much bigger so that we can, or maybe make it white. That should be better to see. So 35.42 is the average across all items that were sold ever in any state, any city, any postal code uh, across any time frame. Whereas 307.8 is the average in the US across all of the cities. All right, so that uh, you can see that this works. Uh, it works fine, even though our aggregation has changed. Okay, so that's, let's just return that back to where it was. Okay, so that's LOD fixed A. And now we're going to recreate this more difficult one. Uh, let's duplicate sheet. And here, let's just copy this. Here, we'll put it here. We'll just say fixed B, right? So let's see, what do we need to recreate? Well, it's actually not that difficult. What we need to recreate is just this LOD exclude state profit, and then we're going to have to replace it in these measures. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate LOD exclude and I'm going to rename it, I'm going to edit it. All right, so let's just, what do we want? We want, once we exclude city and postal code, what we'll have is country and state. We don't even need to look at the visualization. All we need to look at and count and register is the dimensions that we have. So we have country and state, just two dimensions. That's what we will have after city and postal code are excluded. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And let's uh, change it up here. So here we're going to say fixed. And here I'm going to say fixed as well. But now this is not what I want to exclude. This is actually a level of detail at which I want to perform the calculation. So fixed, this is going to be country and this is going to be state. So I'm specifying exactly the same two that we have here. 
and that's the calculation I want to perform. So I'm just going to re return everything back to normal city. But now this is our LOD fixed. I'm going to click OK. All right, so there it is, LOD fixed, a state profit. That's the one we're going to be using. So we're at the city level. We're going to the state level. And uh, let's just rename this so we can copy the name. And let's apply it everywhere. So we're just going to double click here. And in this case, it's used twice in this calculation. So we're going to put it here. And we're going to put it here. Just uh, as I press enter, just check the map that nothing changes. Nothing changed. That's good. Then again, double click here. There we go. This in this one is only used once. Again, nothing changed in the map. Some profit stays. LOD exclude. Let's change this. Okay. Uh, again, nothing changed. And finally, this one. Let's have a look. Yep, it's only used once. All right. Did something change? No, nothing changed. Good. And now, basically, even if we add the uh, postal code, it will still work as expected. It works totally fine. So there we go. We have successfully uh, replaced uh, LOD uh, include and exclude with LOD fixed. As you can see, you can achieve exactly the same results. You're just specifying explicitly where at which level of granularity you want your calculations to be performed. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.